Hey guys, what's up? George Payne here today. Today I've got a pod test for you. A little bit different scenery. I'm out here in my sunroom. Figure I'd do a little pod review today for you. And I've got this. This is a Fatali Jigsaw. And this comes to me from John Ford over at Ford's Fiery Foods. Beautiful pod. Very dense. Can you hear that? Very, not very light. It's pretty, pretty heavy. But I'm going to cut this one open and tell you how it smells, tastes, and give you the final verdict on the Fatali Jigsaw. But uh, before I do, go check out John Ford over at Ford's Fiery Foods. Really awesome guy, really good friend of mine, and he sells seeds. He has plants available between March and June, and he also is selling fresh pods right now. So go check him out. Really awesome guy. He'll take care of you. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll put the link in the description down below. The Fatali Jigsaw is a cross between the Maruga Scorpion and something else. I, I don't know. I did some research and I could not find that information. So I'm going to cut this one open now. Tell you how it smells, tastes, and give you the final verdict. And I want to say sorry if the video is a little dark. I'm out here. The sun's behind me shining, as you can see. But uh, that's natural lighting. So no big deal there. But here we go. Let's cut this open. This one's supposed to be super hot. They say this one's supposed to be hotter than the Maruga Scorpion. And uh, I'm sure it's plenty hot. But... Uh, I've also heard mixed reviews on the taste. Pretty good amount of oil. Pretty freaky. I can already smell it. Let's see what the placenta looks like. Well, that's cool looking. It's not that big of a placenta. The walls are golden. But look what's in the middle of that. You see that? It's another chili. Something like uh, really crazy looking. You see that? That's cool. But uh, wild looking. Nice white, pearl white seeds. Thanks, John, for sending this one to me. I'm going to scrape some of these seeds real quick because I do want to grow it out. Definitely I'm going to grow this varietal out, but this is pretty pretty wild. The placenta, like I said, is not that huge. Um, it's got a fair amount of seeds in it, but uh, wow, that's pretty wicked. I'm going to cut this out now and show you. This is not the placenta, so don't go. I don't think I'm cutting the placenta out. I just want to show you this. I'll... See that? That was what was in there. That's like another pod for me. It's kind of crazy. It's not the placenta. The placenta is still there, but uh, that's just wild. And I'll, I'll put that back in there as soon as I get done raking some of these seeds out. Just wanted to get a few seeds. It's an interesting varietal. Hope everybody's having a good day. It's Tuesday. Pretty eventful day. My knee's been really hurting today, and I'm hoping that uh, it'll stop hurting. I find after I eat chilies, too, that, uh, you know, I do some of these chili reviews, and I feel like, you know, it, it helps kind of with my pain a little bit. It's kind of crazy that something that causes pain as much as these do can actually help. I don't, I don't know. And I know I just chew them up and spit them out, but I do get an endorphin rush from them. You know, probably not as big of one as... As some of the other guys that chew that swallow them, but I, I do get them. Show you this. I'm gonna put this back in there. See, there we go. Go back in the chili. Look at that. Pretty wild looking inside. Pretty crazy looking. I left some seeds in there. Lots of oil on the side of the pod. But uh, here we go. Let's smell it. Smells like it's gonna be extremely floral. Smells like it might have some sweet notes to it. Smells very, very promising for the heat, though, the floral. You get that real flower, very predominant. That's the word I was looking for, predominant floral flower smell. It's maybe a hint of fruit, but here we go. Let's try it. The only way to really get the taste down is to try it, so let's do it. Well, 
It's not the hottest pot I've done. I mean, it's still cranking up, but. Still got all kinds of little chunks of, of uh, pepper in my mouth. Still cranking up. It's cranking up nicely. The flavor is okay. Uh, whew, starting to get some a little bit of stingy in the back of the throat. My tongue has gone numb. Feels like it's not even there. Sides of the mouth are lighting up. Top of the mouth, the roof of the mouth is really cranking out right now. Really hot. Um, Flavor-wise, let's talk about that. Flavor, getting some sweet notes. I know. And I wasn't expecting that for this pot. I actually had the expectation that this pot was going to suck. Um, but uh, I've seen a few reviews, and I've seen mixed reviews on it. Some people say it's pretty fruity and tasty. Some people say it sucks. The only way to really find out is to try it yourself. But uh, for me, I do get floral notes for this. Do I think it's as floral as the boot Jalokia? No, I don't. I'm not getting that insane floral like I do the boot. But I am getting some floral notes to this. I do get an underlying sweetness, though. And a, a very nice fruity undertone. I do get a fruity undertone to this, which is strange. Um, bitterness? Maybe a tad. Uh, I'm not really getting an over-bitter pot here. I'm getting a tad bit of bitterness, but nothing that I can't deal with. Nothing that's unpleasant. Nothing that's predominant or overpowering. I'm not getting that. Um... For the heat of this, I'll give the heat of this an 11. It, it deserves an 11. It is whooping my mouth's butt right now. It's just destroying my mouth. I feel like my mouth is numb. The roof of my mouth is starting to go that way. It's kind of insane. And the flavor of this, I give it a 6. It's it's not bad. I, I like the flavor. I think the flavor is okay. Um, I don't think it's over bitter. Uh, I think it does have a sweetness to it. I think it's okay. Um, it's not good. It's not bad. It's a, it's just okay, and I'm gonna rate it as such. Six is okay. So I um, hope you enjoyed this review of the Fatali Gourmet Jigsaw. It was, it was a decent pod, and I'll see you tomorrow with a new pod review. Hope you like the scenery. Uh, I'll turn the camera around, and show you, show you what I'm looking at. Hopefully, it won't screw the video up. But here we go. Actually, that's probably too bright. But that's that's where I'm at. I'm sitting here in my sunroom. I'm um, doing a pod test. But uh, I enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys tomorrow. See you soon.